orphan clock keeper Hugo Cabret lives alone in the walls of a busy Paris train station, where his survival depends on stealing and hiding. Hugo's previous guardian, Uncle Claude, was a drunk and the only family Hugo had left after his pa father perished in an awful fire at the museum he was working in. Hugo's uncle disappeared, and then he was left alone to take care of himself. All Hugo has now is a small place at the train station, a small instruction manual, and an automaton his father had, le had been working on before he was killed. What Hugo discovers in the story changes his life forever. Hugo was certain that once he fixed the automaton, it would write him a message from his father. After Hugo has finally created the automaton he was working in into working condition, he realizes he needs a key to, to get it to actually work. Early in the story, Hugo gets his father's notebook taken away and in trouble with the clerk of a small toy shop in the train station for stealing toys for their parts. As Hugo tries to regain his notebook, um, he meets the clerk's goddaughter, Isabella, who helps him get his book and finish the automaton. Little did they both know that Isabella held the key to the automaton around a necklace on her neck. She had stolen it from her godmother because she had liked the way it looked. When the team gets the key to the automaton, it doesn't write a message, but it draws a picture. Hugo is confused and furious and, ha and has felt that all of his hard work has gone to waste, until he saw the signature at the bottom right corner of the page. It reads, George Mealy's, who was Isabel's godfather, and had, had been, had, he had been the one who originally built the, the magnificent machine but he gave it up after he gained custody of Isabel. Isabel accused Hugo of then stealing the machine and ran home to get her godparents. They later found out that George Mealy's had made belts and gave up the automaton for Isabel. And Hugo goes to live with the Mealy's and they became a huge family.